Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I'm going to be trying to make the fastest ship I've ever flown in EVE Online. So I've actually watched this uh, video by Scott Manley actually many years ago. He's a very famous YouTuber. And he, he basically what he did was he, he took a Dremel with his uh, child and they had fun going with uh, crazy speeds. Like they put like an oversized micro warp drive and they put like really expensive implants on the test server so that they could get insane speeds that went over 20 kilometers a second but i think now with the abyss we can do more than that the reason is because um in the abyss you can use the dark filaments and you can go faster so you, you, i think you got like double the speed in the dark filaments and then also this is the main thing the release of the Depths of the Abyss update released those Tachyon Clouds. The Tachyon Clouds increase your speed by 300%. This will go absolutely crazy. So Scott Manley, he used a 50mm on a, a micro warp drive, like an oversized cruiser sized micro warp drive. I'm using a standard one. I, I want to actually be able to complete this Tranquil Abyss. If I have to use a 50mm micro warp drive, I will not be able to complete the Abyss site. And the reason is that because I don't want to spend all day trying to find a site uh, that has a tachyon cloud. Instead, I can just go straight through the Abyss site. And I think that um, I put a few modules just to boost the speed a bit. Uh, I could have actually put an overdrive injector system, but uh, that gives a tiny bit more speed than nanofiber. You get a bit of agility as well. I think that's nice though. Um, so we've got 800 beats per second cold, so, or uh, without any uh, micro warp drive, 6.7k a second with the micro warp drive, overheated 9.7k a second. So. So let's think now. We have Google. We go. We'll go like almost 20k a second in the dark side, overheated. And if we find then a tachyon cloud, we're going to just go like fly off. That we're going to go into the abyssal depth straight away. <laughs> so let's try this. Let's see if we can go and have some fun in the abyss. Let's for, form a fleet first, because to do frigate abyss, you always have to have a fleet. Three filaments, tranquil, dark. The Dramiel is not a particularly good ship for the Abyss because it's hard to do a lot of that. It's not extremely high damage and I mean, it's oh, okay, it's got pretty good, decent damage, but these are very short range weapons. So it's going to not be the easiest way to apply this damage in the Abyss, especially with lots of enemies that can do high damage at close range, like the Drurogdron battle cruisers. So here it's more like... Um, just I want to just get through these tranquil sites because they're very easy. You don't have rogue drone battle cruisers, I think. It'll be a lot easier. I just want to get through these until we find a track tachyon cloud. Look, we're going so fast so that uh, anything activated is crazy. Oh, and I forgot to show you. I've got these. I'm on the test server, so uh, I'm, I'm able to get these implants for free. So I, I've got these snake implants uh, and the, the hyperlink, Zor's custom navigation hyperlink. It makes it so that I get even more speed. So those the implants just, just boost everything to the max. Let's see if we get a tachyon cloud straight away. I hope we do. The tachyon clouds, they look like, they look like, <gasps> we're in a tachyon cloud straight away. Yes. <laughs> Wait, where's our max speed? <laughs> 4.5k a second. 4.5k a second with the, without anything activated. Maybe I should do this again sometime with an oversized um, micro op drive action. Okay, let's go. Let's go. How fast do we go? Oh, 40k a second. It was 40k a second for a brief amount of time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, just instant melted like that. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. I wanna just see if I can actually um, survive a little bit longer than that now. Because I, what I wanna see now is actually what I'll do is uh, if I spawn in a tachyon cloud like that, I'll just like activate my arm WD but set my velocity to zero. So then I'll be able to uh, look at the max speed and see how fast I'll go. I'll be really, if that's in crazy speed there. <laughs> See now, okay, we've got this. Inject all of these. There we go. Let's get the Zor's custom navigation hyperlink. Gives us a bit of speed boost. Um, there's nothing more than that. I, I didn't have that on the, I didn't have the Zor's navigation custom hyperlink in the blueprint fit. It was just so crazy. Oh, what is that? 4.5K a second without anything activated. Just normal standard sub light speeds. Absolutely crazy. The reason also I'm using the Dramiel is because the Dramiel is one of the fastest ships in the game, I think. It's got like the 
it doesn't have the highest base top speed but the re it has something to do with that its mass is very light like it's a very light ship and the lighter your ship is the bigger the speed boost is by your like propulsion modules like mwds or afterburners those kind of things so i, I was googling a little bit okay what is the fastest ship in the game and i found that many people are saying the drama so that's why i'm going with this uh, okay let's see if we can find a tachyon cloud now any tachyon cloud no okay let's just go in and kill this fel test lancer then oh look at the speed though the 10k a second <laughs> with just normal standard movement okay let's go to the fel test and wave of flying we're just gonna kill him real quick and go to the next wave see if anything happens there let's see if anything is in the next wave is this a tachyon cloud <gasps> there's a tachyon cloud okay let's go there so we're gonna go with standard um sub light speeds or like standard thruster speeds oh, stop, stop 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 if i just touch that cloud i'm dead let's lock up that devoted hunt in the meantime okay we've got 1.2k a second without anything activated that's really really fast okay. when we start um when we get into this cloud it's gonna stop straight away oh that was a wrecking shot right there from that devoted hunter he's a bit deadly right there <laughs> wrecking shot wrecking shots you can never escape the wrecking shots even in the dark abyss you can still get the wrecking shots they always can happen there's always a small chance that they happen okay we're gonna probably have to stop soon let's, let's move with a reduced velocity because i do not want to just like yeet into the middle of nowhere <laughs> Come on, activate. This is what I don't like about these abyssal clouds. They are often very unpredictable hitboxes. Like they look really, st they, you, it looks very clearly that I'm inside of this right now, but apparently I'm not. That's a bit annoying. Okay, this devoted hunter is very devoted on killing me. I'm gonna start shooting some missiles in his face. That was no damage to Okay, please, can I get into the tachyon cloud? Tachyon cloud, please. I'm gonna have to overheat this afterburn a bit. I mean, uh, the shield booster a bit. <sighs> what is this? I'm in the tachyon cloud, come on. Okay, no, 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 no. Now I'm in it, now I'm in it, now I'm in it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just start doing this. 50,000 meters a second is our speed with this. 50,000 meters a second. Oh my god, this is so fast. Okay, you know what, Devoted Hunter? Goodbye, we're gonna go now. Whee! <laughs> oh, uh oh, abyssal depths. Oh, I'm in the abyssal depths now? No, I'm not in the abyssal depths. Oh, that's good. Oh no, now I'm in the abyssal depths. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna insta die. Cause the damage increases the further you are away from the boundary. So eventually just insta kills you if you go too far out. So 50 kilometers a second. That I usually make my deep safes, you know, maybe 150, 200 kilometers, maybe something like that. Um, uh, uh, or not deep safes, but insta undocks. You know, when you like insta undock from a station, about maybe like 150, 200 kilometers sometimes. Uh, that is made in, what is that, three seconds if I had to go that fast? That's crazy speed right there. So this is a, just a little fun experimentation on Tessa. Hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment right here. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.